Hello? Hey, you. Is this the complaint department? Because I want to complain. You want to complain? I like this shirt. I've only had it a week and the seams are already starting to fall apart. My socks keep falling down and can you believe I paid $20 for this haircut? I've got a terrible headache. My carpal tunnel is, is acting up and I can feel my elbow. I thought you weren't supposed to to be able to feel your elbow what if i bump it on something now it's gonna hurt and don't even get me started on people who who drive too slow in the fast excuse me is this the complaint department the virtual complaint department which reminds me one of the most irritating things is when people can't see the obvious i mean you're talking to me on a computer to my monitor which you, you got to by clicking the complaint department link not to mention there are literally dozens of complaints spewing out of my mouth both in you you still ask is this the complaint department yes but i'm supposed to complain to you it's a joke you know so someone enters a virtual complaint department expecting to complain about something, but then all these complaints are thrown at them? A tables are turned sort of thing? Oh, I see. Um, very good. That's actually pretty funny. Most people don't think so. Mm. Well, complaints are usually attached to a motion, so you probably catch them off guard. Anger. What? Anger is the only emotion attached to complaints. Mm. What about frustration? A relative anger. A relative? Irritation, fury, rage, antagonism, resentment, and eerie wrath, and frustration. All relatives is anger. No matter how you slice it, people are mad. Mm. We have the right to be mad. Take my complaint, for example. Could you do a favor? Well, I, I don't think. Could you watch the online in complaint department for me while I go get a diet Pepsi? But, but I don't work here. Come on, it'll just be a second. I'm dying of thirst. I started licking the water on my screensaver and you can guess how good that is. But I wouldn't know what to do. There's no, nothing to it. You just sit there, look into your camera, someone comes online, you listen to their complaint. I, I don't know. I came here to, to complain, and now... You can do, do it. You're great with people. I am? Sure. You were great with me, and you look really good on camera. But I can't be in charge of an entire department. The link says complaint department, but really it's ju it just means this chat room. Thank you so much, I'll be back in a jiff. Wait, is there a PDF form we need to fill out or anything? Excuse me, is this the complaint department? Uh, uh, no, no, no it isn't. But the link said complaint department. Oh, um, uh, yes, I'm sorry, I meant to say yes, it is. Actually, it's the virtual complaint department. See, my shirt is only a week old and the seams are already falling apart. I don't know what you're talking about. I just wish to register a complaint. <sighs> okay, okay. What seems to be the problem? <sighs> this right here is the problem. Is that goo? It's not goo. It's the part. It's not goo that changed my favorite cookie. After years and years of creating, producing, and selling the perfect cookie, they changed it, and I do not like the change. Uh, it looks like goo. It's not goo. It's the part of the changed cookie I do not like. That doesn't look like a cookie. Told you, it's not the cookie. It's the part of the cookie. The part of the cookie you don't like. Exactly. Um, may I ask what kind of cookie it is? I don't know what type of cookie it is now that they've changed it, but 
It used to be the perfect blend of the rudimentary flavors, two delightfully crunchy and perfect corpulent chocolate discs surrounding a wondrous vanilla cream icing creating a sandwich style confectionery with an impeccable altitude for immensing in a bovine liquid refreshment. Oh, an Oreo. In a nutshell, as everyone, and as everyone knows, the Oreo used to have the perfect cookie to cream ratio at 71% and 29%, 29%, creating a pinquency from a res, the residence of recompense, recompense and one's ultimate demise. Uh, heavenly flavor? Exactly! Now the ratio has changed from 29% cream to 58% cookie. I've had to scrape off half the, the frosting just to enjoy my beloved cookie. Mm, 29 to 58? Oh, I see. You bought the double stuffed. Double stuffed? Mm, yeah, they came out with double stuffed Oreos. That was several years ago. But you can still get the regular kind. I can? Yeah, just read the packets. Um, there are other flavors too, like golden vanilla, Neapolitan, mint, birthday cake, banana split, peanut butter, and of course, double stuffed. Guess I should have read the packaging first. What am I supposed to do with all this extra icing? Save it. Maybe they'll come out with a just perfectly corpulent chocolate discs flavor. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Hey, uh, could you do me a favor? Could you watch the complaint department for just a sec? I have a sudden craving. No, I will not. I don't even know what to do. Uh, here. I'm sending you our online complaint forms. I'll be right back. You dumb imbecile. Excuse me? I bought a brand new 74 inch high definition flat screen from you not a week ago. And now it's not working. You didn't buy it for me. Well, not you specifically, but from your online store. And I want to know what you're going to do about it. Well, let's see. There's sure to be something. Here we are. Television complaint forms. Let's go down the list and see if we can rectify the problem. Alright, and sorry about the insult when I came online. Sometimes I just get carried away. Apology 100% accepted. Now what seems to be the problem? I was watching my favorite program, The World's Dumbest Themselves, when all of a sudden the screen went dark. Screen, dark screen. Ah. Here it is. Was it, there was a number on the screen, like a channel number or a cable provider logo? No, it was completely dark. No number, no logo, no picture whatsoever. Hmm. Let's see, did you try the on button? Of course I tried the on button. That was the first thing I tried. And, and I tried every other button and still nothing. Hmm. Did you check the cables connected to the back of the TV? So the next thing I did, I checked every cable on the back of the TV, and there are a lot of them. I got cables going to the cable box, cables going to the DVD player, cables going to the to my kids' gaming systems, and cables going to the modem. But I made sure each one of them was secure. I tried the on button again on the, on the TV and on the button, or on the remote. Still not there. Mm. Hi, Emily. Next, there's a big thick cord on the back of the TV that needs to be plugged into the wall. Did you make sure that was plugged in? The problem with that is the TV is on the top of a big dresser, and the plug is <laughs> and the plug is behind the dresser. And it's really close to the wall. Hmm. How close? It's about three or four inches away from the wall. That should be enough space for you to look behind it. And it Normally, 
Like yes, it. but mm, it's too dark back there. Can't you use the flashlight on your phone? No, I'm using that to talk to you. Duh. Hmm, well, it's kind of dark on your screen. Why is it so dark? Lights are off. Why don't you just turn on the lights? Because right now, on our side of town, there's a power outage. Do you still have the original packaging the TV came in? I always keep the boxes. Here's what I want you to do. Pack up the TV and the original package and mail it back to us. That bad, huh? I'm afraid so. There is going to be an online form that you'll need to fill out. It will ask you why you're returning it. Just say you're too stupid to own a TV. I am? Most certainly. But you're actually perfect for this job. Could you watch the complaint department for a sec? I'll be right back. I guess so. There's nothing good on anyways. Is anyone there? Hello? Hello? Oh, oh, powerful. Oh, I'm extremely sorry. I thought you were someone else. Oh, okay. For a moment, I thought you were, you know, quite mad. No, no. I was just expecting someone else. Can I help you? It's the complaint department, is it? Virtual complaint department. Can I help you? Uh, yes, thank you. I came here to complain about... I'm sorry, it's just that... What were you expecting? I'm sorry? The mask, you were expecting to jump out at someone. Who is it? Oh, uh, ex actually, I'm not allowed to tell you. Why not? I have it. You wouldn't know the person anyway. Uh, I might. And the way you jumped out like that just doesn't seem very private. Who is it? I'm sorry, but that is between the person whose name I'm not going to mention and the complaint department. That's a private message for that person and that person only. Can I help you? I already know the messages. <gasps> That's only half the message. Did you wish to register a complaint or not? Yes, but not to you. I wish to complain to someone else. I assure you, I'm perfectly capable of, assist of assisting you with whatever your duties might be. No, I find you rude and annoying. Fine, I'll find another associate. Can I help you? No, no. You just put on a different mask. No, I didn't. I'm a completely different person. No, no, no. I don't want you. You're terrible. I suppose you could do better. A slug could do better. Slug? Fine. Prove it. Excuse me. Where do you think you're going? Um, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Is this the complaint department? Oh, uh, yes, but I'm afraid the attendant has... Uh, oh, oh, I see. Uh, I have to... Perhaps I can help you? Oh, great. Because I'm at my wit's end. I just don't know what to do. What seems to be the problem? I think my husband is going deaf. <sighs> my, that's a problem. What makes you think he's losing his hearing? answer me half the time. I have to call him several times before I get any response. It seems like the only time he can hear me is when I'm standing face to face and he can see my lips move. I see. I'll try an experiment. Do you both have mobile phones? Sure. I make sure he has it on ring and vibrate, just to make sure he answers. Here's what I want you to do. Call his phone, and when he answers, I want you to talk softly. If there's no response, talk a little louder. If there's still response, no response, talk a little bit louder, and so on until he finally gets an answer. 
Sounds reasonable. Hmm. It's ringing. <laughs> Hello, honey. No answer. Darling, can you hear me? Nope. Completely silent. If he can't see my lips moving, he can't hear me. Ah. <sighs> uh, what's the number? I'll call him. Good idea. I'd like to have another witness so I can convince him to go to go get a hearing test. Five 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 four five two nine. Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, hi. I'm calling on the behalf of your wife. Yes, she's right here. Yes, you can. Right. Well, her know. Okay, bye-bye. He could hear you? Yes, he could. What did he say? He said that you answered, he answered you three times and wants to know what you want. He says you always do that to him. I wonder what that means. Hey, mm. could you watch the complaint department for me for just a sec? What? I didn't hear you. Thanks. I'll be right back. So, what do you think I should do? Yeah. Hello, I'd like to register a complaint. Hey! Oh, hello. <laughs> I'd like to register a complaint. Uh, at the moment, I'm afraid there's no one here to complain to. You're here, aren't you? Yes, but, well, what is your complaint? My bill is wrong. Uh, hmm. seems to be in order. No, my bill, it's wrong. No, look at the price of the cheese. Ah, here it is, Charles, but that's a good cheese. Yes, but the price is wrong. Let's see, they charged you eight fifty nine a pound. An excellent bargain for such high quality cheese. Exactly, but the price online said ten forty three per pound. So they charged me the wrong price. But they only charged you eight fifty nine a pound. I don't think they were trying to swindle you. Nevertheless, it is still incorrect. Uh I think hmm. I think I found the problem. See, in the online grocery See in the online grocery department? Starting today, Jarl's, Jarl's Wood Cheese is on sale for eight fifty nine a pound. They simply gave you the sale price early. That may be, but when I bought it, the price was ten forty three per pound. It demanded a correction. Well, the customer is always right. <sighs> okay, so about two pounds and paid seventeen eighteen, and the old price was ten forty three times two, which is twenty six for a difference of three sixty eight. So you owe an additional three six three dollars and sixty eight cents. What about sales tax and shipping? Times point zero six equals twenty two cents for a grand total of three dollars and eighty eight cents. What about the cost of the plastic wrapping around the cheese? That's already included in the cost of the cheese. But I can see your insistence, so two and a half cents for that. The Jarlsburg name sticker? Three-fourths of a cent for that. The nutritional information label? 0.25 cents for that. The calflatulent reduction injections? You didn't think I know about those, did you? No, we were trying to keep that a secret. Another eight and a half cents. And to compensate you for your time? 98 cents. Is there a tax on your time? No, no tax on customer service. Thank goodness, at least there's a bright spot. Seems like there's a surcharge for everything these days. So how much is the damage? $4.98. You can pay by credit card, over the phone, or online. I'm afraid I don't have any money. That's all right. You can work it off in the complaint department for the next two minutes.
Is this the complaint department? At least for the next two minutes. Oh, good. I've been trying to call the army surplus store for two days now, and the line seems to be disconnected. What number did you call? I wrote it down on my hand. 0900-1700. That doesn't sound like a real phone number. I wrote it down exactly as I had it on the door. Was it on a sign just under the word open? Why, yes. That's another thing. The sign said open, but the door was locked. Um, that's their operating hours. It's military time. That means they're open from 0900 to 1700 hours. What time is 1700 hours? Five. O'clock? Yes. Oh. Here's the real num phone number for the Army Surplus Customer Service. Their phone lines are open 24 hours a day, seven day days a week. Is that Eastern or Pacific time? Daylight saving time. I can't call any reason. My phone is damaged. It looks like it's off. Well, how do I turn it on? Just click any button. That's what everyone keeps telling me, but there isn't one. I can... Uh, I can see several buttons on that. Yes, there's a volume button, a back button, a home button, and a settings button. I looked at every square millimeter on this phone, and believe me, there is no any button. It looks like there might be water damage. I don't see how that's possible. I kept it in this jacket pocket through two washings. Uh, you washed your phone with the phone in the pocket? You washed your jacket with the phone in the pocket? Yes, but as you can see on the tag, the pockets are waterproof. Okay, that's two minutes. I've done my time. Good luck with that. So, I just wait here then? <clears throat> well, is this where I can complain about my parents? Well, if you want to. Good, because they're a real pain in the butt. Is that so? Are they super old and senile and had to take care of them? No, they're just unreasonable. They have all these rules, and I have to follow them or there'll be consequences. Consequences? Nasty things those are. Tell me about it. But get this. My dad thinks they are good consequences. Good consequences? Like what? Take the other day, for example. I wanted some cake. So instead of just baking one, my mom sews me the instructions on the back of the cake mix box and says, follow these instructions, but because of the way our oven heats and the climate we live in, cook the cake seven minutes less than what it says on the box. And did you? Oh yeah. She made me do it all by myself. She just stood there and answered a few questions. Was she right about the seven minutes? Yeah. The cake turned out extremely moist and delicious. So my dad says, nice work. That's a delightful consequence of following the instructions. Hmm. Strange way to put it, but I guess that is a good consequence. But then comes the bad consequences. In order to make the cake, I had to use several dishes, hands, and utensils. Naturally. Get this. They made me wash the dishes. So you're like the little red hen? Exactly. I had to make it and do all the cleanup. And then they want to just eat all the fruits of your labor. Oh no. They're diabetic. They couldn't have any. I see. And did you purchase the cake mix? Of course not. My parents buy all the food. But they don't eat cake. No, but I do. So basically, you want your parents to buy your food, fix your food, and clean up the mess for you while you just eat the food? Finally, someone gets it. 
Why don't my parents get it? <laughs> oh, they get it. Is this the complete department? Can you help this person? Me? You you want me to you can do it. I can't see you, thank you. There's your face right there, Becca. I'll be right back. Go. I'll just hear a complaint. My arm hurts. Well, I'm not a doctor, but I'll take a look. I'm sick of doctors. I fell out of a tree. Uh, I need to look at the other arm. Why? Because it's inserted? No, this is the one that hurts. <laughs> and why does that one have all those bandages? To stop the blood. So it is hurt. No, this is the one that hurts. Clearly, that one has multiple wounds. And the one without the bandages looks perfectly fine. Instead of the complaint department, I think you need to see a psychiatrist. Oh, I'm sorry, I should have explained. A long time ago, this arm suffered a very rare nerve injury, which resulted in a complete lack of this arm's ability to feel any pain. Hmm, really? I've never heard of that. Extremely rare. It was sort of thing, a super extreme case of carpal tunnel. Watch it, but it's true. Watch this. Oh my, yes. Yes, thank you. Thank you for the demonstration. I believe you. Here. You try. Go on, have a bite. Oh, yeah. You know, I'm not saying this for you. It's, it's not necessary anyway. I'll give it a good karate shot. Hi! No, no, no. Please stop. Please stop. You'll get blood everywhere. Sorry. I just get carried away sometimes. Okay. Now, if this is not the arm that hurts, then how did you get all those injuries? Well, all these band-aids on my fingers I got while chopping onions. That always happens. On my, this one on my wrist, I got from chopping uh, sag strips to tear from sarin wrap. And the one I got, and this one I got from a pin cushion. This one I got from a burn. And this one, believe it or not, from a whack-a-mole machine at Chuck E. Cheese. May I take a look? You need to go to the hospital. That's a gaping wound. It doesn't hurt. That, that doesn't matter. It needs stitches. If you don't get that sewn up, it'll only get worse. You'll lose more blood. You'll have more nerve damage. It'll eventually, it'll eventually get infected. And you'll lose your arm, or worse. But it doesn't hurt. Pain is an indicator that there's something wrong. You don't have that indicator, but believe me, there's something wrong. I'm going to get some help. But this is the arm that hurts. Excuse me, why are you wearing a mask? I'm a cat burglar. I see. Can I help you? I'm bored. See this? I burgled it. That's not cool. Do you need a letter opener or something? No, letter openers are for wimps. Who can't just rip, it, rip open an envelope? It's only paper. I like letter envelope. I, I like letter openers. In fact, hold that up to the camera. That looks just like my envelope opener. It is yours. What? How did you get it? I told you. I burgled it. You came to my house and stole my letter opener? No, I didn't go to your house. I'm a virtual burglar. You stole it through my computer? Yeah, sorry. I don't believe you are, and I don't 
don't believe you stole that letter up in us from the floor. Why not? Because there's no such thing as a virtual... Where's my pen? Uh, is this it? Wait, what? I I virtually buckled it. Sorry. I'm saying sorry, but you keep doing it. I'm bored. Is that why you steal? Is that why you steal? Um, no, no. Burglary start. Burglary started a long time ago when I was when I was little. I stole my friend's toys, Bobby Richmond. You realize that stealing hurts other people? Oh yes. Well, when I first stole Bobby's toys, he cried and cried. I felt terrible. It just ate me up inside. But I was too scared to confess. So instead of returning his toys, I stole some more. Awful. I know. But after a while, I stopped feeling guilty. I became a full-time thief. Now I've branched into a virtual burglary. I know it hurts people, but <laughs> I just don't seem to care. Hey, where's my doctor? Here's my do where's my diet, Dr. Pepper? Uh, sorry. I'm bored. Maybe you should get caught and pay for your crimes. I have many times. That's boring, too. You can't even think that. Why are you so bored? The movies make being a thief look so glamorous, but in real life, it's boring. It didn't seem like it would be born. The thrill of planning the heist, the excitement of anticipation, the moment, the exhilaration of the risk of being caught, and the adventure of getting away with it, and the pleasure of the loot. I see you watch movies too. To tell you the truth, I don't feel anything. No thrill, no excitement, no exhilaration, no adventure, and certainly no pleasure. I wish I could go back with when I was that stupid kid and and feel guilty of stealing Bobby's toys again. You wanna feel guilty? It's better than feeling nothing. I just I just realized something. You um you have the same condition uh, you have the same condition on your arm than mine, except in the inside. See this? Is that lemonade? Yes, I want to open a lemonade stand, but check this out. It's not bad, but it's a bit weak. Weak lemonade, huh? That's not good. Exactly, now watch. Leak. It tastes exactly the same. Well, how many? It's unbelievable. Would you buy weak lemonade? No, at least not twice. Either.
Again? Of course. Practice makes perfect. Blech. Weak, weak, weak. Excuse me, but I couldn't help but notice that you keep mixing the same amount of lemonade powder to the same amount of water each time. Two scoops. That's what it says on the package. Perhaps the people who came up with these proportions were envision envisioning a smaller cup. Didn't say anything about that. Maybe not, but you can't just keep doing the same exact. Look. Is this a complaint department or not? Virtual complaint department. Then help me with my complaint. Are you using the same amount of water? Of course. Two scoops of lemonade powder? No more, no less. It's going to be too watery. Even though we use the exact same ingredients, this time I expect a different result. Now match. Tastes the same. Weak. You can't just do the exact same thing over and over again and expect a different result. People in Washington do. Listen, there's something I've got to I've got to take care of. Could you watch the complaint department for it for me for a minute? Gotta help me. I have this song stuck in my head and it won't get out. I can't sleep. I can't work. I can't do anything. It won't stop. Isn't that how Beethoven went insane? Beethoven didn't go insane. There he did. Jason Beethoven. He lived down the street from me. It was a heavy metal screamo song called Chicken with His Head Cut Off. But in his mind, he only heard it played by the banjo. Couldn't get him out of his head. They had to take him away in a straight jacket. Is this complaint department or not? Virtual complaint department. And new today, we also sell lemonade. Virtually, of course. You're not being very helpful. I'm desperate. I need to sleep. It just keeps playing and playing over and over again. Sorry. Have you tried eating bananas? The only pop up in the song. May I ask what song is running through your head? Old MacDonald. You don't mean Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. On that farm he had a banana, E-I-E-I-O. Oh dear, this is awful. This is, have you tried counting sheep? With a baba here and a baba there. So everything you try ends up in the song. This is worse than chicken with his head cut off. You're a bok, there a bok, everywhere a bok, bok. Help me. You can order some lemonade. No thanks, it looks weak with a weak weak here and weak weak there. That's an obnoxious song. Sing something else, here, sing with me. Riddle no. the red nosed reindeer. Had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. Your glow glow here and the glow glow there. What? See, it's impossible. I hate that song. Let's sing something else. Hey Jude by the Beatles. One, two, three. No, it can't be. Do you shake it off by Taylor Swift? On that farm, he had a shake. Yeah, yeah. Oh, when the saints go marching in, go. With the marsh, marsh here, the marsh, marsh there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me out of here. Uh, is this the complaint department? Absolutely. Do you have a complaint? Uh, I, I most certainly do. First, I woke up to absolute silence. Usually, Mrs. Wellenby's dog is yapping at the wee hours of the morning, waking me up and the 
waking me and the whole neighborhood. I mean, who gets up before 9 a.m.? And it's one of those annoying little dogs with those high, whiny barks. But this morning, there was nothing. So you were able to sleep then? I hardly call 10 a.m. sleeping in. Then I go out to get the paper, which is usually thrown on my rose bushes, but it's sitting right on my doorstep. I didn't have to put on my slippers to go get it. So that was a good thing? What do you think? But while I'm getting the paper, I noticed that the neighbor across the street had taken down their pool. Swimming pool? Yes, they had this little two-foot blow-up swimming pool out in their front yard, but they have no fence, and the city ordinance clearly states that any pool over 18 inches high must be enclosed by a six-foot fence. I called the city several times to report the violation, but they would never do anything about it. But the pool is gone now. Yes, I was going to call the city again today to complain, but now there's no sense. But that's not all. For lunch, I decided I would go to Taco Bell. You don't seem like the type of person who frequents the bell. <sighs> no, but I do like fried chicken. And the one time I went to my favorite chicken place, they had combined it with Taco Bell. So I tried a few menu items and I was hooked. The problem was that they always got my order wrong. Not enough cheese on my taco, too much fizz in my Diet Pepsi, crunchy tortillas for my burrito. I mean, what are the odds that they get it wrong every time? But today, it was perfect. So the buck came through for you? <sighs> That's not all. The doctor called and said my cholesterol plummeted and I don't need to take those pills anymore. My financial portfolio went from weak to strong, my taxes went down, and on the way over here, all the traffic lights were green. So let me get this straight. You got online to complain about not having anything to complain about. I don't know why I clicked that link. I just liked the look of it. It was very pretty. You think the link to the virtual complaint department is pretty? It's my favorite link. Well, and I'm afraid you're all out of excuses. Excuses for what? Hey, how would you like to run the complaint department? Uh, me? Yeah, I'd just be for a few minutes until I get back. Uh, yes, yes, I'll do it. Alright, here's what to do. Uh, shut up, I know what to do. Get going, I got it covered. Everything will be fine, just get out of here and let me do my job. Can I help you? Y yes, yes, no, thank you. Sh I shouldn't be here, I'll leave. Wait, wait, you came in here for something, you might as well lay it on me. Actually, I work at another virtual complaint department on another site. Today's my day off. Ah, fellow complaint receptacle. Let me ask you something. Are you sick of all the people who come in and complain about the stupidest things? Yes, that's why I'm here. For example, I had a lady come in yesterday to complain that every morning her husband stretches, stretch stretches his arms and says, ah, oh, slept like a baby. What's wrong with that? That's what I asked her. So she says, he doesn't remember when we had babies, they didn't sleep so well. <laughs> so what did you say? I told her, I told her to be grateful that she doesn't have to wake up, have to wake up hungry and crying every two hours with a load in his pants. A <laughs> very good point. I thought so, but she closed her screen, all angry, and then there's and then there's this guy who gets on with one of those what with one of those sticky flies straps wrapped around his head and he said he can't get it off. I mean, is it me? Is is what is it I? What? I believe the proper grammatical form of that question would be is it I? Are you sure? What if I added the word just into it. Is it 
just me. I mean, people say that all the time, but I've never heard say anyone say, is it just I? You're right, that does sound weird. Um, let's see, you use I for the subject of the sentence, like I'm listening to complaints, and for me, and me for the object of the sentence, like this person is complaining to me. Yes, you wouldn't say this person is complaining to I. So is it I? So is I the subject of our question? Is it I or I... Or is it the subject of the question? You know, I'm not sure. But I'm sure that I've heard the phrase, is it I, somewhere before. Now that you mention it, I believe I've heard it put that way. As well, some, as well. Some, as well, somewhere important, I believe. Well, no matter what, well, no matter whether it, it is, is it me or is it I, it's a rather good question. I wish my customers would ask, ask it before they would come to my complaint department. Wouldn't that be something? It would change the whole way we do things around here. Might even change the world. Come to think of that. Come to think of it, we better not spread that rumor. If that ever happened, we'd be out of a job. Right, right. Mom's the word. Hey, you're an experienced complaint taker. I was wondering if you could do me a favor. It will only take a sec. Sure, what is it? Could you, wait, maybe it is me. Yeah, I think you're right. It's is it I? No, no, no. I, I mean, I mean the problem. Maybe the problem is me. What problem? Um, you know what? Never mind. I was just, I was just going to ask you to watch the complaint department for me for, uh, while I went off to go take my break, but I think I'll stay. Yes, I'm going to stay at my post. It's really not my day off. I just, I asked someone to watch my complaint department for, for me for a while. I came, while I came here, I can't believe I, I could just, it is me or I, I've got to get, I've got to get back. See ya. Have a nice day. Here you are. Uh, this certificate grants the holder the right to be happy for the rest of the day? Really? I'll email it to you. No more excuses. Thank you. Uh, what about tomorrow? What about it when you come to it? <sighs> I've got it. Sing with me. Old MacDonald had a farm, e-i-e-i-o, on this farm he had a grievance, e-i-e-i-o, the grumble here and the mumble there, we were mumbling their ground everywhere, I remember so, old MacDonald had a farm, e-i-e-i-o, well, it's gone, it's completely gone, we just need to finish the song, Thank you, thank you. This is wonderful. Goodbye. Down the hatch. Woo! Delicious! I've got to try that.
That's wonderful. You doubled the amount of lemonade mix. Brilliant. Wait till my hey, customers taste this flavor explosion. What? You know what? Sorry. Here, I found my Richmond's phone number. You've got to start somewhere. You're right. Thank you. There you are. I've called the paramedics. They're waiting for you outside your house. Will they give you something for the pain in my arm? I hope not. You need that pain. But they're going to fix both your arms. Thank you. I found the solution to your problem. Uh, how is ping pong supposed to get my parents to bake my cakes and wash my dishes? Simple. Just get a pal just like this or bigger or even maybe something with spikes on it. If you're going to say I should go get a low level entry job, let me just tell you what I told my parents. I went to college. I got an associate's degree in female Klingon studies. I'm not going to work on an assembly line. No, just get the paddle to your parents and then tell them to give you a good spanking. What? You can't talk to me like- You are a self-aggrandizing pompous parasite who thinks that the principles of responsibility and consequences apply to everyone but you. Now it's time to grow up and stop acting like a baby. I hate you! <laughs> Thanks for watching the complaint department for me. How'd it go? Oh, uh, well, pretty good. Hey, what time does the complaint department close? Six. O'clock? Yeah, six o'clock. Okay, I'll come back then. Why? We'll be closed. Bye! So you've worked off your bill. What have you got there? Oh, cheese. Creamy Havarti, on sale, you know. It looks wonderful, I must purchase some. I hope they've updated their price sales or I'll be back. I know you will. All right, I've got a solution. Roll up a regular sheet of paper and it into a cone, like this. Mm. Like this? Perfect. Put the skinny end in your ear and see if your husband answers you now. It's only temporary. He'll need to see a doctor. Hmm. Of course! To think all this time the problem was me. Or is it I? It works. Oh goodness, my husband is calling me. I didn't hear a phone ring. Uh, he's in the living room searching for me. I better get going. Thank you. Oh, how awful. No, no. I told you already. I want someone else. Excuse me. Oh, I'm trying to that you were someone else. Definitely not someone else. As you can see, I'm an entirely different person. Longer wasn't someone else. Good day. I have good news. The power is back in your neighborhood. Ah, so I'll be able to see behind the dresser to make sure the big cord is plugged into the wall. Actually, you won't need to look behind the dresser. Your TV should work perfectly fine by now. Why? Because the power came back on? Oh, suddenly I feel humiliated. That's okay. It's the first step to recovery. Hey, I'll bet I know why the, why the clock stopped spinning. Now, what am I supposed to do with you? I have to answer. Take a look. bag full of empty hands of Oreos. Wow, that's perfect! 
Now you can spread your icing back on these cookies in just the right proportions. But how will it work with you being there and me being here? Oh, um, I didn't think about that. I normally work at an at the non virtual complaint department. They have lemonade there too. I guess you'll just have to buy another package of Oreos and scrape off the icing yourself. Then you could spread your icing onto the empty cookies. Thank you. I'm off to the store. I have a lot of cookies to repair. I'm back. Oh, hi. Um, you got your drink, I see. Yep. I would have gotten you one too, but you're not here. That's okay. Diet Pepsi hurts my back. It hurts your back? How's that? When I take a drink of it, I have to bend over so far to lick the dirt off my shoes just to get the terrible taste out of my mouth. I see. So, how did everything go? Fairly well, I suppose. I learned a lot about people. Let me guess. It's easy, easy to see the solution to someone else's complaint, but when it comes to your own problems... Well, yes. That's one thing. But in the bigger picture... Oh, hey! I just realized you never got to tell me your complaint. That's okay. I don't need to. No, you came in here for a reason, and then you were kind enough for, to do me a good turn. The least I can do is hear your complaint. Actually, now that I've had time to think about it, it was I. It was me. You had nothing to do with it. No, I mean the proper way to say that is it was me. Are you sure? Is it me? Is it I? Is it me? Is it I? I can't tell which one sounds better. <laughs> but I'm sure I've heard that question before. Now that you mention it, I believe I heard it put that way as well. Somewhere important, I believe. Mm, no matter. I feel it's a good question that has caused me to look inward. I shall ask it frequently. Thank you for the experience. Cheers. That was just my dog.